former U.S. attorney just proved that Rosenstein is working against Trump by Aaron Moreno for TruthFeedNews.com. On the uh, surface, it appears that Rod Rosenstein uh, has caved to President Trump's demand uh, by appointing uh, IG uh, Michael Horowitz to investigate the Obama-era FBI spying on the Trump campaign. But unfortunately, that's not the reality. As former U.S. Attorney Joe DeGeneva points out, Horowitz has no authority to subpoena former Obama officials in the DOJ and FBI in order to interview them. Further proving the need for a special uh, second special counsel, and surely Rosenstein knows that. The portion starts at 429, but I enjoy watching uh, this uh, interview here, and it's with Hannity here. So I'd rather contributor Sarah Carter. I'd rather the watch the whole thing. The District of Columbia, Joe DeGeneva. I said to you last time, Joe, when you were on this program, I cringe. My mom was a prison guard. My dad worked in family court probation, and I have so many extended family members in the NYPD and the FBI. And you say bad cops. I know the 99% are not. That they're good people. For this country but we know tonight you have been right and what we've been reporting sarah included she has been right well i think the sad thing about this is you watch someone like sally yates who was the deputy attorney general under obama and acting attorney general for a while complain about the rule of law and the violation of it when she and brennan and comey and others destroyed the rule of law in the Obama administration. They traduced it, they besmirched it. They were so politically motivated that they have now destroyed the Department of Justice and the FBI. It is going to take a decade to rebuild the public trust in the FBI and the Department of Justice because Sally Yates, who just joined a fancy law firm in Atlanta, is going to need to lawyer up. The disgraceful performance of her, and of course, even more disgraceful, John Brennan, who led a conspiracy against the campaign of the opposing party's presidential nominee, and then when he won, did everything they could to frame him and his compatriots with false crimes. It is the greatest political scandal in American history, and shame on Sally Yates and shame on John Brennan. Wow, it's such a powerful commentary, and sadly, it's all true. Sarah Carter, March uh, 7th, 2017, you and John Solomon, right here on this show, broke the news about the Trump campaign being surveilled. You are now saying that concealed FISA documents, the warrants, the original application, the, the bulk of information, as the Nunes and Grassley Graham memo said, came from that phony dossier that Hillary paid for, and they lied to FISA judges. How are those documents, and I hear there are other documents that if they're ever released, will expose all of it, which is why the IG report to me is a bad idea, or going the IG route is a bad idea. I think going with the IG is fine, as long as the documents are turned over, and that's what's important here. Now, these documents are associated with those FISA applications. Remember, there were four FISA applications starting in October 21st, 2016, and then it rolled all the way to September 2017. That's seven months into President Trump's uh, administration, and these were all on Carter Page, but they also brought in a dragnet of everybody that Carter Page spoke to and possibly people that those people spoke to. Now, there was evidence attached to these FISA applications. Remember, it's not just the dossier. There was other extenuating evidence that was attached. These are probably part of the documents that they're requesting. Remember, this was a classified letter that Nunez sent, so no one's seen it. What's important now, Sean, is that they get those documents because the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Judiciary well, Committee are far ahead. Well, there's something called bleach pit that nobody in America knew about except for Hillary Clinton. 
That's right, but these are held on servers that are highly guarded and protected at the FBI. I'm and I don't about believe it. they, I know, well, I, I don't know. believe, I'm not 100% positive that this could be destroyed. What I know they need to do is show those documents without redactions, and they need to have people in there that understand what's going on. They yeah. need to be have people inside that can actually read the documents, not just congressional leaders. I know that uh, John Kelly is going to be setting up that meeting, but I hope that the president got confirmation from both Rod Rosenstein and Christopher Wray that they will be delivering those documents, and I hope that the appropriate investigators with the right clearance are able to get into this meeting and uh, examine those documents. Uh, I, I hope the president's demanding it because he has the power to demand it and the power to see it unredacted and the power also to declassify if need be. Joe, so much, by the way, I told Sarah last week, Sarah, am I going to recognize the initials of the informant? Yeah, we all recognize them. <laughs> uh, I thought I was being clever. But now we're discovering two separate reports that he got paid in two, a two-year period of time between 400000 and maybe a million, maybe as high as a million. Mm -hmm. We also learned that from Devin Nunes, we might have a second spy on a presidential candidate. I read the Wall Street Journal, but now you've got people like Ted Olson, who I, everybody respects, um, the former Solicitor General, Mark Penn, Cheryl Atkinson's timeline is devastating to the entire story, the entire narrative, your reaction to all of this. Well, here's the thing. Um, I, you know, Inspector Generals are good in certain circumstances. Here's the problem with Mr. Horowitz. He cannot interview any of the people who have left the Department of Justice or FBI. He has no subpoena authority. So all of the people who were part of the plot and were in DOJ and the FBI are gone. He can't talk to them. All he can do is review documents and talk to whoever's left to do that. What we need is a federal grand jury with a prosecutor. It doesn't have to be a special counsel. And by the way, let's remember why we're here. We're here because Rod Rosenstein, a political coward, someone who was inadvertently made deputy attorney general, appointed Robert Mueller illegally with no evidence that any crime had been committed. And here we are more than a year later with nothing having been determined except that there was no Russian collusion. All of these people having been put through hell because Rod Rosenstein couldn't do what he should have done, is which is had it conducted he's, not only is he conflicted because he was a witness and he signed some of the warrants right. guess what suppose there was activity which i believe there was that went beyond the law rod rosenstein is not only a witness he would be a co-conspirator i mean this is ludicrous watch, when watch. you think when you think yeah. that the president of the united states has to demand an investigation into something that is so ob obviously criminal. And now right, let me the chief quick. of staff, General Kelly, is telling Rod Rosenstein, show them the documents. Is Joe right about Rod Rosenstein? We don't have but 35 seconds, sir. I believe Joe is right about Rod Rosenstein. I mean, he has been stonewalling Congress. He has been stonewalling everyone on the release of documents over and over again. And this time, I, I believe that Nunez and the rest of them mean it. If they take this next meeting, he better bring those documents. He better bring them so that they can see him and so that the right people can access. I hear if he brings them, he's, he's signing his own demise. Well, he signed that last FISA warrant. That's right. I want to Let's see it. You're so. right. Let's you guys have so. been amazing. Thank you for your hard work. When we come... Uh, also, uh, the the fact of the matter is, the IG report, they're trying to close the Hillary uh, email case. That's one of the uh, factors that the IG is working on, to close the Hillary email case. Also, I might add that in, because uh, I saw it. Uh, that is shocking to me. What do you mean close? It wasn't even opened correctly, let alone being ended, and the Hillary Clinton email case too. So what does this tell you with the IG? I'm questioning this, but uh, I hope that they, uh, they, they said they're going to get the uh, documents to Congress. They're going to release the documents to Congress. But now, uh, they did mention that they have to, Trump has to see them also, and another uh, special uh, person. They don't need a special prosecutor. Somebody else needs to see them. So this is very interesting. Um, we'll keep you updated. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.